Hi card making friends, Sandy McIver here and today I've got a mind-blowing triple layer stencil on a slimline card for you. This beautiful My Sweet Petunia three layered stencil makes the most fabulous flowers with all this great detail and it's so easy. You're going to love how easy this is. The card base is cut with the Picket Fence Studio Slimline Nested Rectangles dies, and they have a great little stitch detail around the outside edge. The sentiment comes from Ink on 3 My Sweet Petunia stamp set, and here is the stencil we're going to be playing with today. There's three in this package, the background and the whole image, the highlight outline, and then the pretty leaves. So I'm going to start with my Misty and my Slimline in there, and I'm going to stamp at the sentiments and I'm using my Versafine Claire uh, Nocturne Black. This is a beautiful black and I usually only have to stamp it once to get a really, really good stamped image. And then the second time I'm coming in and putting a short little sentiment underneath. So I'm finished with that. Now we can move on to the stenciling. I'm using the Picket Fence Studios Life Changing Brushes and the Ink on 3 Fusion Ink. This one is Sweet Petunia Pink. And I'm starting with my background stamp and I'm going a light, light, light coat of the pink and covering the entire surface. And this is going to be the base of all of our flowers. And I decided to do this three times. So I started on the left side and then I'm going to do the right. And then that helps me balance out what I'm going to do in the center. So just very lightly add the pink all the way around and then come back and do the one in the center as well. Next I've lined up the uh, highlighting stencil and this is the stencil number two and I'm adding a second layer of pink and I'm going a little bit darker this time and because there's going to be two layers of pink through these highlights it's going to show up darker anyway. See isn't that beautiful? I'm lining up the middle one, going to do the same thing, add another layer of pink to it and this really only takes a couple secs. It actually takes longer to line the stencils up than it does to add the ink and then on to the third one giving it a little blend. I just love this stencil. It is so pretty. And there we go. Doesn't that make beautiful flowers? So now we're going to grab a green and I have got Key Lime from Gina K Designs and I'm switching out my brushes to a green one and I'm going to add the stencil. And so when you get the majority of the stencil on the card you can see that there's leaves at the bottom and there's leaves near the top. For the other two that I've already done, they're far enough down that I'm not going to be able to put the leaves in. So I'm adding that little piece of green over on the right hand side and that's it for the stenciling. To add more green to my card, I decided to do the matte with the Picket Fence Studio Slimline Scallop Frame dies, and it's done in the Key Lime cardstock from Gina K. So it matches my ink perfectly. And now I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Dot Runner, and I'm attaching my art piece to my scalloped matte, and then I'm going to create the card base. So the card base is a piece of hammer mill and I have cut it at 8 by 9 and I'm going to score and fold it at 4 and this will create my card base for me giving me uh, just about a quarter of an inch of white showing all the way around my art piece and I like that. I like to have it framed out. So burnish it really well so it stays nice and flat and then once again use the dot runner from Simon Says Stamps and I'm adding a bunch of tape here because I want to make sure it stays down. So this is new tape from Simon Says Stamps and I'm quite enjoying it and there I almost put it on upside down, caught it at the last second. So there we go. Okay so now I need a few embellishments and I decided on the pretty pink posh party mix and I'm going to use my Barely Art Precision Craft glue to put it down. I really like this really fine tip on this glue and I like the glue as well. Uh, it dries clear and it also sticks really really well. So there's multiple colors in this gem mix and I dug out all the greens as you can see and I'm just adding them across my card. So I'm liking that then I decided I might need a little bit of white so I grabbed a jelly roll pen and this is a number 10 and I just went in and added a bunch of white dots to the center. 
just thought it needed a little bit of oomph. So there we go. There's my finished card with the beautiful stencil. Uh, underneath this video, you'll find a link to my blog and also a link to all the products that I used today. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And until next time, toodles. Toodles.